It's pretty cool to wake up to this every morning because it's a huge sacred center and um, can't help but affect you. So um, every morning people are doing their quora. Actually, they're doing it all the time, walking around the stupa and um, doing their prayers and it's just lovely to hear all the bells and I'll show you more by going inside. The biggest prayer wheel I've ever seen in my life. So I just live a few feet away from this and can come every day and do the prayer wheels. largest Buddhist stupa in the world. And so, not really sure why the offerings are being burned, but that's what's happening, which is lovely. Happy to be here. On this beautiful, it feels like spring, but it's still winter here, so it's quite cold in the morning. And it's winter in the Himalayas on the rooftop of the world. Oh. So all the prayer wheels are being. Pushed. And look at that little dog in the corner. Can you see him? Oh my gosh. Anyway, the wonder of it all. It's a glorious sight. And it's all polished and beautiful. Everything is all shiny and new and wonderful. It's from four years ago. So I'm enjoying being in Bodenath. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. So this is the gorgeous sunset light from my room where I'm staying. So I get to go to sleep to this and then the very next morning the sun rises and the light looks completely different, all golden, just like this because this is the sunrise light. And I can walk out to the stupa. So I highly recommend Bonath to stay. And the morning I woke up, it was a water day, a holy water day. So the owner put out all this water on the railing. Beautiful. Oh, that's interesting. When I put the flower, it won't let me focus. <laughs> 